I'm currently in LA and you can't really tell that I'm in LA because the weather is really dramatic. It is raining every single day since days. And when you turn on like television and you watch the weather, they say it's really dramatic. In Southern California, historic rainfall. 29 million people under flood alerts. The storm causing devastating mudslides, threatening property and lives. Oh my goodness. Even President Joe Biden weighing in. Tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Really, really dramatic. Yeah, so it's a rainy start here in LA. <laughs> Let's make some breakfast because I want to stick to my routine no matter where I am. And I want to do a workout. But before I'm going to do a workout, I want to have some breakfast. I have some Greek yogurt here. I have some oats here, protein powder, berries. So we mix something together. And I also have these eye patches here. I always put those eye patches in the fridge. And they are super cold and it feels so good in the morning. And you have puffy eyes. It's so good. I brought them from Germany. I bought a lot in Germany. Oh, it feels so good. The older I get, the more I realize how important self-care is and that you only have this one face, this one body, this one brain, this one life. And it's really important to take care of it and to take care of yourself. And these eye patches, it's a little form of self-care <laughs> in the morning. I do it for myself. It feels good. So I do it. I'm starting with some oats. If you tablespoons then I'm adding hot water hot water da, 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 da. and then I add some protein powder I just have whey protein with me can also use plant-based protein then the consistency slightly changes now I mix it mix 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 of course it would be better if it would be overnight oats but I forgot to prepare it yesterday night I was so tired I didn't even think of that so I prepare it in the morning now. No matter where I go to, sticking to my routines as good as possible is so important to me. So when I travel, especially for longer, I always try to make sure that I have a kitchen, make sure that I have a gym or a place where I can work out. Here we are really lucky. So we have this cool gym where we can train and I have some dumbbells so I can also do some workouts with weights I'm so grateful for that because my whole day changes my whole mood changes when I just start with my morning routine and part of my morning routine is moving my body and exercising so I love my routines I want to stick to my routines no matter where I am it makes me feel so much better I can't open this yogurt no. Adding some yogurt. Now mix it again. That's very liquid today. <laughs> That's because I've used whey protein. So when you use whey protein, make sure to not use a lot of water. Okay, and last but not least, I'm adding some frozen berries and peanut butter. That is it. I always buy frozen berries. To me, they're more convenient and sometimes they are also way less expensive. You can also heat them up, especially in the morning. I can imagine not everyone likes frozen strawberries. I don't mind. <laughs> We add a tiny bit of peanut butter and then we are done. This is the breakfast. Okay, we don't add a tiny bit of peanut butter. We add a lot of peanut butter <laughs> because peanut butter is life. I'm loving it. All right, here we are again. Journaling and planning in the morning together. I love it. I love this part of the morning routine and now I'm trying to figure out what I want to do today. Mm, number one, I want to work out. I want to do a lower body workout today. Yesterday I did upper body, I did arms. So today I'm really looking forward to train my lower body. So glutes is going to be my focus. I love training glutes, love training booty. Mm, 
I might also go out for dinner tonight with one of my friends here, Andrea. She's also from Austria, but we both met in Germany, in Berlin. And now she's also here in LA and she's also the reason why I came here. We were in Berlin in a cafe and she was like, I'm going to LA, you should also come. And then I thought about it and I was like, yeah, why not? Why not also come to LA then? That would be so much fun. And now here we are, both in LA. So, so, so funny. Mm -hmm. And then I want to answer some private WhatsApp messages. Answer WhatsApp private. The reason why I have to put this on my to-do list is sometimes I don't answer. Sometimes I forget. And that's so bad because I want to stay in contact with my friends. I want to build stronger relationships in 2024. That's why I just put it on my personal to-do list. Call my mom, call my dad, call my friends, answer my friends on WhatsApp. It's a few minutes a day, but it's important to build stronger relationships. Like I want to put in a little bit more effort than the year before. Self-care and solo things and doing things for yourself, so important. Also spending time alone and doing things on your own, so important. But also having relationships, building strong relationships, also important. So all of these things together are important because everything that we've learned in the past and in the past years, it's that it's about balance. You need a little bit of everything. And then we have the work to do's. I have to check the team work system that we use, what kind of to-dos I have today. We use Asana. It's a platform for the whole team. So also the team that's working with me behind the scenes. And we have our team to-dos or business to-dos all in this platform. Yeah, it's quite cool. So I'm going to check what's on there today. And then I work a little bit and that's it. Mm. The things that I do right now, the things that I do here, planning my day, making sure I have some personal to-dos, making sure I work on my vision and on my purpose. That to me is a form of self-care, a form of self-love, fueling my body, eating things that my body needs right now to just function and to be healthy. That to me is a form of self-care, a form of self-love. That to me is like, I love my body so much that I want to do all those things. I work out because I love my body, not because I hate it. And you should too. All right, we're done here. That was really, really good. I would say one more coffee, get ready for the gym upstairs and then let's work out. It's leg day. I started off with a 30 minute walk. I also used the time to work and catch up with the team. And now I'm grabbing some dumbbells. I'm gonna do some leg exercises that I usually don't do at home. Some deadlifts, squats. Let's see, it's a random, random workout for me today. <laughs> I'm not a gym girl, but here in LA, in our Airbnb, we have this amazing gym. And then I'm super excited to just go there every single morning and get my workout in there. Sometimes upper body, sometimes lower body. And at the end of the day, to be honest with you guys, I just want to move my body. And if I feel like training my lower body, then I do it. If I feel like training my upper body, then I do it. And sometimes I will just feel like doing a stretch or going for a walk. I just want to move my body. Moving my body makes me happy, especially first thing in the morning. Because as I said before, because I love my body and because it makes me feel so much better. I used to work out to look a certain way, to lose weight and to have toned abs. It never really made me happy. Going to the gym or going out for a run and just burning calories, it's not making me happy for, for long term. It's not a motivation. It doesn't keep me disciplined. But working out because I want to be healthy and because I want to feel something. I want to feel good. I want to feel strong, confident and powerful in all areas of life. That is my motivation right now. Why I wake up early and go and move my body every single morning. I also don't know at the moment how heavy or how light I am. I'm not stepping on the scale anymore because what I do here, why I move my body, it has nothing to do with how heavy I am or how light I am. I don't step on the scale. I feel good. I feel really good at the moment and that's all that matters. It's not about looking a certain way. It's about feeling a certain way. Back from my morning workout and I'm getting ready for some skincare. Something I never know is if I should do my skincare before I work out or after my workout. I never know. 
but most of the time I just do it after because if you do your skincare and then you're sweating, I don't know. What about you? Do you do your skincare before you work out or after? You know what's crazy? I am 28 now. I'm closer to 30. And I do realize that my skin is changing. Not just my skin. My body is changing as well. And age is something that I struggled with. That I also still struggle with sometimes. I really don't want to get older. But then I remind myself that first of all, 28 or 30, it's just a number. Like your age it's just a number and it doesn't say anything about you. You can be really young but feel older. You can be really old but feel younger. So it's really just a number. But I do notice that my skin is just changing and I might have some more wrinkles than I had before. And sometimes I struggle with, I wanna be honest. Like change is always something that feels uncomfortable. Change is always something that we are afraid of. But I also wanna use this video here as like a reminder that change is okay, that change is just life. We are constantly changing. And if you also grow up and you're also closer to 30 and you see your face a tiny little bit changing, then remind yourself that this is part of life, that this is part of our journey. And it actually is something beautiful because getting older and growing up is something that's really, really beautiful. I feel like I'm changing in so many positive ways as well. The way I think about different kind of things, it's so much better than years before. So I want to remind you team that change is something good. Change is part of life and change is beautiful. I ordered this new powder from Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury? Tilbury? I don't know. But it looks really, really good. It's called Airbrush. And it really looks like an airbrush filter. Looks really, really cool. And this lip balm here, I got in South Korea and Seoul. It's almost empty. But I need this little thing again. It's so good. And I don't know any other lip gloss or um, lipstick. It's just like this. It's really mm, glowy. I just do my eyebrows now and that's it for now. Just like a makeup look without doing anything on my eyes. That's fine for now. So many of you recommended me this. From got to be I bought it in Germany and it's actually brilliant so good if you like to brush your eyebrows and have this i don't know how to call it but a little bit wilder eyebrow look i'm loving it i'm obsessed with it and it was super cheap like i just got it in in the pharmacy drugstore at dm drogerie markt <laughs> and it's really cool really 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 cool time for a post rocket lunch what are we making for lunch today i want to boil some eggs because i have eggs left and i also have a salad left from yesterday so we're gonna make you already know it anna's bowl of everything so we're gonna mix everything together in a bowl that is actually what i eat so often it's the easiest just use all the leftovers you have make sure you have some vegetables, protein, carbs, healthy fats in it, and that's it. It's so easy. Healthy food doesn't have to be complicated. I also have some leftover rice. So when I cook rice, I just make like a big portion of rice, some herbs, coriander, a little bit of leftover salad. If you add coriander to your meals, it's honestly a game changer. I love coriander so much, but there's just two types of people. Either you love coriander or you hate it. To me, it's the best thing. I love how it smells. I love how it tastes. Here it says cilantro. Is cilantro and coriander the same? Cilantro. But it's also called coriander. Yum. So hungry now. So excited for food. I also have some leftover chickpeas. Oh, shit. Leftover chickpeas. <laughs> Oops. I also have this avocado left. Avocado is so good for you and it's so tasty. Avocado toast or avocado in salads, avocado in everything, I would say. Such an Austrian thing as well, sauerkraut. 
in Seoul, we always had kimchi. In Germany and Austria, we always have sauerkraut. And here I found the sauerkraut as well. Super great for your gut health. And also in salads, it is so good. This one especially that we found here in the supermarket, this is so good. When I was a child, I hated sauerkraut. I remember I had been in this kita. You know what, what a kita is? I think it's called kita in English as well. And the woman at the kita who took care of us, she made sauerkraut very, very, very often. And I hated it as a child, but she forced us to eat it. So I always remember the smell of sauerkraut. And when we all were sitting on the table and she forced us to eat sauerkraut and I hated it so much. I have like a little sauerkraut trauma, but now years, years, years later, I'm loving it. I'm adding it into my Anna's bowl of everything. <laughs> I don't have enough space in one bowl, so I'm gonna make it in two bowls. By the way, we're here in LA for four weeks. And every time when I'm traveling or when we are traveling, I always try to book Airbnbs with kitchens because then we can cook as well and we can just live life. That's my kind of traveling. That's how I love to travel. It's not that I go to a place and then I watch at like the touristy things. I don't really like that kind of traveling. What I love is renting an Airbnb and living here, meeting people, work from here. That's how I love to travel and that's where I get so much inspiration from. And I also have my own kitchen here. I can cook and prep my own meals. It's like living at home. It's like living in Berlin. It's the exact same, but being somewhere completely different, being on the other side of the world. I'm adding some apple cider vinegar. That's my dressing. And don't judge me on this one, but something I'm obsessed with is Dijon mustard. So I'm also adding a tiny bit of that. A little bit of the Dijon mustard. You can also make a dressing out of it. So you mix apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard, and a tiny bit of olive oil. It is such a good dressing for salads and everything. So here's bowl number one. Sauerkraut, salad, avocado, chickpeas, carrots, some Dijon mustard. Oh my God, it's really a mix of everything. Just use all the leftovers that you have at home and mix it together. And here's what's in the second bowl. This looks a tiny little bit boring and dramatic. Rice, chicken, and one egg. But if you imagine both bowls together and like really, really pretty, then it would look nicer. <laughs> Not that boring. Okay, let's eat. Mm. No. The first bite, I fell down. That's sad. My fresh washed pants. No. Okay. We don't have many spices here, so I just added some salt. But it's good. Mm. When I was younger and when I had that fitness goal of being super skinny and losing a lot of weight, I stopped eating, I stopped fueling my body, which is so sad because I was so young and I developed this unhealthy relationship with food. And I wish I could tell my younger self that losing a lot of weight, being super skinny, it doesn't make you necessarily your happiest or it doesn't make you feel better about yourself and it really was like that like I lost a lot of weight I was super skinny but at the same time I thought this is gonna make me so happy but it didn't it didn't make me happy and I still looked into the mirror and felt bad about myself and felt bad about my body so that shows me that loving yourself and loving your body it has to come not from the way you look from the outside it has to come from within it has to come from from here i wish i could tell my younger self that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i think i'm done i couldn't finish but i'm gonna save it for later that was good I'm working on my phone right now. I have to edit some stories for a brand collab. So we filmed the videos already and now I have to edit them. I'm editing here in my bedroom because it's, it's cold and it's still raining outside. I cannot believe it, but I've heard that tomorrow it's going to be better. And I'm excited for this because LA summer vibe sun is a vibe, but not when it's raining so much. <laughs>
three, two, one. Hey everyone, Anna here. Happy Spring Festival, three, two. Two, one. One, Anna here. Um, got the water. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got a cup of tea. <laughs> And this is how my next hour will look like now. I'm gonna work here, I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna upload all the clips from this vlog here, do some office work, and then it's already afternoon again. Then we already go out for dinner. I'm excited, excited for dinner. It's gonna be an Asian place. My friend has chosen it and I'm excited to see her again. I haven't seen her in a while. Looking at those clips when i'm like talking into the camera like selfie mode and i'm talking into the camera let me tell you at the beginning when i started working on social media or working in the social media industry it had been so weird it had been such an uncomfortable feeling and you know why because i was so afraid of what other people think of me i was so afraid of getting judged by others I thought, oh my God, when my family or my friends, when they see that, they will definitely judge me. And I wanna talk about that because I think also a form of self-love is that you don't care what other people think of you. You're not afraid of that other people judge you. I think no matter what you do, no matter what you decide to do, there will always be people judging you. And that's okay, not everyone has to understand what you're doing it's just important that you f don't focus on these people don't focus on the people who judge you or who pull you down focus on the people who support you who love you who love you for who you are and i think that's also really important like sort out your circle like surround yourself with the right people surround yourself with the people who support and love you love you for who you are what I do now doesn't make any sense because I'm cold. It is cold, but I'm still craving some ice cream. <laughs> While eating the ice cream, quick reminder to eat when you're hungry. And if you crave a little bit of ice cream during the day, eat it. Your body is telling you why it wants something, why it needs something, and you should give it to your body. It's also some sort of self-love. We went grocery shopping yesterday and I've seen that here in the US they have so many different options of the Halo Top ice cream. I love the Halo Top ice cream. We have it in Germany too, but just vanilla and maybe cookies and cream and that's it. And I've seen yesterday so many different flavors that I haven't seen before. This is oatmeal cookie. I wouldn't buy it again. Well, it's still exciting to try different ones. I'm gonna try all of them, all of them. And I will let you know what Hello Top flavor my favorite is. Also, a quick reminder to everyone that, of course, I tell you to eat healthy, but also balance. So really try to listen to your body and give your body what your body needs in that moment. That was it. Done. Let's get ready for dinner. I'm wearing all black. I'm wearing a cappy. Just put on some jewelry, then it looks a bit more interesting. This whole black outfit. I'm gonna wear a blazer on top. Let me check. Like a super basic black blazer, black gray blazer. What do you think? Can I go like this? With an oversized blazer, cappy, get some jewelry, have something here. And then let's go. Let's go. Hello, hello, we are back. I made another cup of tea. It is 9 p.m. I'm tired, but I can't go to bed right now because I have to do 
some more work i have to do some more videos i have to upload some more videos but then i'm gonna go to bed so really really soon yeah it was a fun night it was a fun dinner and it was a fun day with you i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me here in la on this rainy day i hope i can show you a little bit more of la and the next videos and the next vlogs let me know what you want to see let me know down in the comments is there anything specific that you want to see here from la or here in la thank you so much for hanging out with me thank you you mean a lot to me and your words mean a lot to me and your comments mean a lot to me you're my team you're my youtube family you are very special and i hope you know that You've got a stalker. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye.